about four years ago, my wife and I decided that we would give our kids um, a gift for Easter, and that gift was a bunny rabbit, okay? So we got the bunny rabbit, we got the cage, we got the whole thing, and we named our bunny Eve, and it was this really cute little gray bunny. It was so adorable. Um, but Eve um, did not like being in her cage. She wanted to be out exploring, just like any, I mean, any rabbit would want that, right? So we thought, okay, well, we've got this fenced-in area in our backyard, and we would let Eve kind of go out into this fenced area. Well, little did we know, rabbits, <laughs> rabbits are curious critters, and they also know how to dig. And so even though, here, here, even though Eve had this glorious environment that she could live in in our backyard, she had vegetation, she had, she had the whole deal. She had, I mean, it was like, for the life of a rabbit, it was luxury. But, and Eve had complete freedom within that backyard. But Eve's curiosity to what was outside of that freedom of the backyard is what eventually got Eve. Unfortunately, Eve got in the habit of crawling out, and one day Eve did not come home because Eve decided to explore what was outside the fence. And I think sometimes we live like that in our relationship with the Lord, is that we, we, we want to live and walk by the Spirit, but we forget the freedom and the blessing that we have living and walking with the Holy Spirit. And so what happens is we start looking outside to other things to see if we can gain that freedom and to gain that acceptance and that love. And we have it right inside of walking with the Spirit because we are His children. See, when we, when we live and walk by the Spirit and when we put our trust in Jesus Christ, we have a completely new identity. First of all, God adopts us as his children. Secondly, what's so cool about this that we read in the beginning of the chapter is that Jesus cries out for us. Jesus cries out for us. He's our mediator. So when we're struggling and we're desire, desiring to walk in the spirit, we have an advocate. And he is, he is calling out to his father. And then the Holy Spirit confirms that we are God's children. So Living by the Spirit doesn't mean we have this guilt cycle that we're going through. No, we're living by the Spirit because we are God's children. We are loved, deeply loved, deeply cared for. Maybe today is the day that you let go of that vicious cycle of trying to do enough good things for God. Feeling like if I, if I do the right thing or I abstain from doing the wrong thing, that God's going to accept me more. And I will tell you this morning, God cannot love you any more than he already does. And, it, and it's independent on the right things you do or the wrong things you do. See, God's love is unconditional. He sees beyond all of your guilt, all of your shame, every wrong thing you've ever done. And all he's asking is that when you put your trust in him, that you submit your life and say, Lord, I want to live and I want to walk by your Spirit.